Today is December 29th, 2019, Sunday at 12.01. I'm doing a telekinesis video. Um, the sound you hear is the sound from the refrigerator. And then this is my thermostat. And I'm gonna turn it on so that you can hear the difference between air blowing and air not, not going. Okay, heat. So we'll kick it up to 72. In a moment, the air will kick on and you'll be able to hear the difference So it just did a click sound. I don't know if you heard that. But in the next moment or so, it's going to turn on. Alright. Uh, this is my setup. Um, I just This is just water right here. This is a mirror, so you can see nobody's behind me. Um, and this is my room. Bookshelf, blank wall, light, another light with stuff in it. Uh, this over here has to do with TK stuff. So now you can hear that sound. Maybe if I come out here, you'll hear it better. This is the sound of the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off. To 65. Pretty soon it'll shut off again. But I just wanted to show um, what's going on. So today, I'm going to take this ping pong ball in water, and then I'm going to move it towards me. Of course, you could say that's air. Let's do it again. Ping pong ball. We're just going to set it right here. It's going away from me. And now it's going to the side. So it did a little. So my control isn't that great, but what I noticed is I tend to be better at pulling at the moment than pushing, which is kind of cool because that means that it's would be harder for me to fake it, you know, because I'd have to blow to fake it. Now you just heard that the the sound went off, right? Okay. So here we are. It's going this way. Move this.
now it's much stronger. You can see the motion like it completely stopped. The sound you do hear, if there is any sound, is the sound of the refrigerator, like I said before. Um, I'm going to grab something so I can set this phone up. Okay, this is basically just a cardboard tube. I can put the phone in it at an angle higher up and then it ought to be able to catch what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna create a little table kind of that's angled. of course. All right, let's see. Um, let's see if I raise it a little bit. If that does anything. Everything I'm doing is kind of on the cuff, off the cuff, <laughs> off the cuff. But I've been practicing pushing it away, stopping it, and then making it come back towards me. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it's gone so fast. And then when it gets to the side here, you'll notice if it gets to gets too close to the side, it always adheres the water tension basically suddenly pulls it towards it when it gets really close to the side. See that? I'm not doing that. That's just what that's just water tension. So once it gets too close, it's kind of at the point of no return. Okay. So it's going this way. stopping it and then pulling it the other direction. Oh. Now I am shaking the table a little bit. I'll try to not put my arms on the table. But sometimes, as I'm trying to pull it, I accidentally push it. But it's going this way now. Okay, it stopped. No, that pushes. weird sometimes I have to look away because I'll start pushing it and if I keep looking at it as it's moving away it'll continue moving away okay so it's it's still right Whoop! got too close to the side I just want it to like be still just stay still and then now come towards me. Hold 
hopefully the camera is getting this. What I need is multiple cameras, multiple angles. If you hear me breathing hard, it's because part of what I'm doing is trying to train my subconscious mind to associate the pulling motion with an in-breath and the pushing motion with an out-breath. I got the idea from Trevor Seven. Um, if you want to if you want to understand that more in depth, um, he has a whole video on it. Okay, so it's being pushed away from me. Hold on. Uh-oh. Place of no return. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> They're gonna be so frustrating. All right. All right, I'm gonna try to keep these videos kind of short um, because <sighs> and then when you hear me breathing out really hard, that's because I don't want to then blow because I've been breathing in and there's nowhere for the air to go but out. And then that, that, that'll that affect the TK ball, so. Now I can cover my face, but right now, I'm kinda trying to feel. Yeah, that was just its own motion, I, I want. I want it to be like either still or going away and then it stops. So you see it's it's kind of spinning and it's going this way. Now I'm going to pull it towards me. pulling it to the side. Now, as you can see, the water is still. There's no, you know, that's a ripple. So the water is still. There is no air. It could be argued that air is coming, you know, because it's really cold outside. It could be argued that there's air coming through my sliding glass door. But I've got it locked. I've got like a sheet up, you know. This is this is the stillest room in the house in the apartment. Now, I hope to do this with more than just ping pong ball. But what's cool about the ping pong ball is you can't say, oh, it's magnetized. Oh, it's like, you know. So here's something else I'm going to do. I'm going to try to pull it again and again to this side. And I'm going to sit over here. I want to keep these videos to like maybe 15 minutes at the most. I find it. Okay. Okay, I'm pulling it towards me. Hopefully you're catching this entire thing. And then when it gets to the side, water tension is going to pull it really quickly almost like it's magnetized to the side of the bowl. I don't know exactly why that happens, but there's like a skin 
over the water. And that's why water adheres to itself. Okay, so I'm going to push this away just slightly. I'm going to stop it. Hopefully before it gets to the side. Okay. Okay, I feel I've got control of it. Now, whoops, I pushed. Yeah, I pushed it. Yeah. Uh, it was too much to the, um, it got too close to the side before I could do anything. Okay, so I'm gonna push it very slightly. So it's going away. Maybe even let it travel a little bit more. The idea is, okay, to catch it. Okay, I'm catching it. Got it, oh, no, come on. to the side of the bowl ah. and it's really hard to break it off the side of the bowl do you see this like I'm pushing it but it's wanting to you see that it's wanting to do its own thing that's because my TK isn't strong enough to overcome that eventually it will be So I'm pushing it away. I'm going to capture it. And I'm going to pull it back towards me. Now this is six months of training. I didn't do this ping pong ball the entire six months. Rather, I spent time with spinners, you know, with uh, what they call side wheels. Okay, I'm going to see if I can't push it. Or stabilize it somehow. Uh, it's getting close. Uh, it's weird, it's like, <clears throat> when I'm practicing, sometimes my mind gets locked into, it's almost like a tractor beam and I can't shut off the tractor beam. There was a time when I was practicing this with tin foil and as soon as I get near the bowl, uh, the tin foil would like just scoot on over and I couldn't do anything about it. It's like I couldn't shut it. It's like I couldn't shut off the TK and I, I couldn't redirect its motion. So I decided to try a ping pong ball thinking that maybe it would move slower and it would give me time to adjust. So I just wanna show you, like, look, there's no strings, I don't have, okay, that's wind, okay. It suddenly moved because of wind, but um, wind for my hands. But there's there's no like magnets or anything. This is a this is a regular ping pong ball. There's not a magnet hidden inside of the ping pong ball because otherwise it wouldn't be able to do that. At least I don't think so. You know, if I spin it, I don't know if you can. I don't even, I don't even know if you can see this. But if I if I spin it, if there were something inside like a little seed of something that was a magnet. Because, you know, I've also studied magic. So I have, when I say I've studied magic, I've learned a little bit. I'm no sleight of hand wizard, but. 
Okay, so it's, it's, it's relatively still. Now I'm going to catch it and pull it. And after I do this one, I don't know if you notice, but the water, while I'm doing this, I don't know if it's my heartbeat or if I'm actually sending out waves, but the bowl of water, I think, is responding like in ripples to my uh, I don't know, to my thoughts, to my, to my heartbeat, to my heart wave, maybe, electromagnetic wave. Anyways, I, I have to cut this short. This video is taken. My laptop doesn't have a lot of space on it. I got it for free and somebody, uh, it's got the least amount of space I think any laptop of this age has. Yeah, so we're at 21 minutes. That's kind of crazy long.